Hi, I'm Barbie. I'm the Donor and Volunteer Resources Coordinator at the Toronto Vegetarian Association. So, um, this week we got at the TVA uh, this little magazine in the mail from one of our fellow veg organizations in the States. And I was reading this article on apples and I thought it was really neat. They didn't give much many details, but they just said, no time to bake a pie. Create apple pie burritos by filling tortillas with sauteed apples and garnishing it with chopped nuts and dried fruit. I thought that sounds really interesting. So I thought I would bring you guys along as I tried this out for the first time. I have not made this yet and it doesn't give any other direction from that. It doesn't say what spices to use or how to saute them, but I thought I would give this a try and you guys could come along. So um, let's see how this goes. I guess I will stop, start uh, by just chopping an apple. I'm gonna chop two apples because I am making this for breakfast for myself and my partner. The other thing that it says in this recipe is, um, or sorry, not in this recipe, in this article, they give another suggestion. I'm just gonna chop, what do you think? I'm gonna chop it into like little cubes, I guess. Um, the other thing they say is that you can also make an apple pie enchilada by taking tortillas and um, layering them, again, with sauteed apples like this and then drizzling it with some um, sweetener and cinnamon and things like that as well. So I might try that another morning when I have a little bit more time to pop something like this in the oven. So let's start sauteing, as they say. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to put some kind of liquid or something in here. I'm gonna try, because apples have water. I'm gonna try to make this nice and healthy and not add any oil or water, or water's not unhealthy. But I don't know how that will impact the texture. I'm gonna try just putting the apples straight in here. So again, they don't say anything. But I'm assuming we kind of want the apples to like caramelize or something. So I don't know, maybe I'll have to put something in there eventually. I was, I do have some maple syrup out and I figure I will add in some maple syrup and seasoning and things like that. But I'm just trying to just like, I don't know, heat this up for a little bit first and see what happens. Hmm. Now that I'm kind of standing here, I'm just wondering how that is going to work. I kind of feel like it does make something to pan. But this is a pretty good non-stick pan, so I'm just going to try to cook these up. I guess I'll get my tortillas open. I was very excited about this idea, so when I saw this recipe, I just went right out to the grocery store and got uh, the tortillas. Got some plain homemade tortillas. And that's it. I guess while this is cooking up, I can also, like I said, just say you can sort of garnish with some nuts. So I happen to have walnuts and almonds on hand. I can kind of mix up in here right now. So maybe I'll chop some of those. Is that piece? So this is taking quite a while, I feel like, to cook down. I'm gonna try adding in the maple syrup now. Um, this helps you see anything. I have no idea how much maple syrup to add, but I like maple syrup. Oops, that's probably maybe a little bit too much, but oh well. It's better than making a little apple pie, right? So I'm gonna let that cook up now. I guess I'll add, I figure I'm gonna add some sort of pie spices, I'm gonna add some cinnamon, random. I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg. Probably add a bit of Add a little bit of ginger. I don't know. Alright, I guess there's no harm. Add a little ginger. Okay. And stir that up. Another thing I'm wondering is if I want to add the nuts in here directly so that they soften a little bit too. I think that would be good. I think I want this to be like a super oops, crunchy burrito. All right, Oops. how's that looking? Oh, it's very crunchy. Okay, oh, so man. this takes more time than I would have thought. So tasty, but it's kind of like, just plan ahead a little bit that you're gonna have to, it's not a lot of work, but you are gonna have to leave this on the stove sizzling quite a bit of time. Um, so it's not really a quick throw together breakfast in the morning when you thought it would only take you 10 minutes. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to try to put these together now. 
can take a look. Again, I don't know if it's completely as soft as I would have liked, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, I wanna taste it for you, but it's gonna be very hot, so bear with me. I'll let you know how it is. Hmm. it is tasty. The filling is tasty. And that's my doing, I have to take credit for that with my guess of maple syrup and spices, but I think that the tortilla itself is giving off a bit of a taste, which doesn't go as well as obviously a pie crust would. So this is kind of a neat idea, but you can also put it like on toast even. I mean, it's like a little, you have like a piece in there, like one of those little grills or something, you kind of do the same thing. Um, yeah, so you can give this a try if you like. Okay, so I'm back, I wanted to come back because um, as you can see, now I've eaten half of one of the burritos. And I'm actually liking it more and more with every bite. So I feel like I left off on kind of a negative, not as excited note. Now I'm kind of really enjoying this. I think maybe just as the flavors are sitting. Yeah, I mean, it will depend on how you make your filling because that's really what's making it tasty. But the idea that, yeah, you can just kind of put some apples and spices and maple syrup on the stove and let that cook for a while and then wrap it up into a burrito. Hmm. Oopsies. <laughs> it's actually quite nice. Again, it could be because I put in a lot of maple syrup, but it's really quite tasty, actually. So <laughs> I'd recommend you give it a try. I should also mention, um, if you're enjoying videos like these, please make sure to consider supporting the organization, the Toronto Vegetarian Association. If you're not yet a member, you can join at www.veg.ca slash join.